Well, do we have any wants or wishes from the principals or the directors of different departments or whatever? I have my wish list. I've got, I've got, my, I've got, Mike, I've got Mike Smith's. That's the okay. one I got. Can you hear us, Chance? Oh, he said, I got you she, she said, do you have any wants from the principals or anything like that, stuff they're wanting? Uh, the, only, the only things we've talked about, like we have in the past, is baseball and softball field is major needs athletically right now. Um, wants would be technology stuff at the high school. What are we looking at budgeting for uh, technology this year? Do you know? We haven't changed anything over last year, so we've not reduced his budgeting, so it'll be equal to or more if we need to. Uh, I mean, I know that. Well, except Esther's going away, so he won't have all that. Yeah, you're going to have to bump it because Esther's not being when he gave us an amount. And I mean, we're not talking about setting those tonight. I just think that that's something that we need to have on the list so that we'll be talking about it in the next month because we'll, we'll have another one probably around 1st of August and then we'll have it tonight. Later on, we'll set when we're going to set the budget and stuff and set the tax rate and all that stuff. Right now, I think that we need to just go through what Jens has heard, what Jeff has got. I'm trying to get into it. I don't know if I've got it. Jeff, do you remember what Rapee said it would cost us if we had pretty robust security for kids, for the students? 200 or something. Um, he mentioned it at one of our meetings that if we really wanted to have high security where students cannot access. Um, I don't remember that. Um, are you talking about fire, basically firewall systems for the yes. kids' computers? Yes. yes. No, ma'am, I can find out. I, to me, that's an important thing that we need. We asked him about a student getting in, and, but I don't remember him giving prices. I just thought he said I think it was Jeff's right. It was on the he gave us a price. Yeah. But I can't okay. remember I think what it was. It was two hundred seven thousand for the top. Um, for some reason, I was thinking two forty two or two forty five. That's kind of what I was thinking. Ooh, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, it was. That, that's, that's how that much we're getting for S. That's how that. much we were getting S. Oh, we started out at ninety something three years ago, and then it was that on his budget. I mean, that last, on his technology report last month. It was uh, either last month or month, month before. Okay. I'll pull it on this. Yeah. Um, he had a page that broke it all down. Would that be yearly or would that be a one time thing? Or that's, what? that's yearly. That's, that's yearly, yes. Oh, God. That's what he was saying. He invested 90 something three years ago, and then it was 100 something year before, last year, and then it was 200 and something. So that's why he was saying this year we would need to put more in there because Esther wouldn't be there. And, you know, we put 200 and something. Now that's bringing in a lot of laptops. We won't have to do that now. But we still got to have it to keep the technology up to date. I thought I might have that, but I ain't got it. Uh, oh. That just seems to be a concern. I don't know of the kids getting on stuff they they shouldn't be on, right? Safety wise, and getting hacked into. I guess because the school systems are your targets now. Have, have we had had some of that issues, Jance, or? I didn't hear the first part of Miss Malone. Will you say it again? She's saying like about you know kids accessing websites you're not supposed to, and and uh, any security concerns like from uh, the system being compromised or anything like that. Uh, the the big thing since I've been here is you know people I, I don't know how they get into our email and send in hack emails. It's not been kids or anything like that getting on websites they shouldn't. Right, but. It's like bots or hackers or whatever get in. But that's yes. that's going to happen. I mean, Sherman had spent bukus of money, and they still we still got hackers. Right. I mean, 
phishing emails. Yeah. I mean, that if, we were just telling them. Just mm -hmm. don't open it up. Yeah. That's all I can say. What were y'all looking at for a bus? We don't want to how much we don't want to spend on the bus. A bus, I think, is something that we do need to investigate because we have put back long enough. I don't think we discussed the price. We just did get a price from we weren't looking at necessarily a new bus, were we? Yeah. We're talking about something with, with some miles on it for around us. We've got quotes on used buses. Um and they are, they're high, 80 grand, 75, 80 grand. Is that just for the big six passengers? But they have the air conditioner. I know Joe asked for one without air conditioner, but he has not found one like that. Is that a big six passenger? Yes, sir. Okay. And so is that considered? I have a problem with it. That considered a big bus that he said some of those or the long bus wouldn't go on some routes. I'm just wondering. No, 56 is the short. That's the shorter one. Bus is okay. uh, the others are 70. Aren't the, the over road buses, aren't they like 72? 60. Daniel, what do they hold when you run on routes or uh, to basketball games? Are you in there? Yes, I am. The, yeah, the big buses are 72. It's been a while since I've driven one of those. Um, but yes, 50-ish is going to be what we're looking at, 53, 56. Another thing I have on my bulletin board over here from June of last year is to look at purchasing a Suburban or a van, just a fleet vehicle. Uh, I think it was June board meeting of 2021. Uh, it's tough to find tough to find inventory right now. Yeah. What's the cost on a new bus? We're paying 75 to 80 for a used one. We talking 100, 120, we talking more near 150. We haven't even quoted one because we were looking at used ones. Okay. I think that's what we've done the last couple of times we've bought this. It was ever five years, right? Four years. The last one was brand new, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was good. The big bus. Mm -hmm. How much did it cost? But we're just looking for something for a route bus, right? 93, 94. Yes, sir, Jeff. Okay. So y'all got a deal on it or whatever? Yep. We well, hate to buy a new one and put it on a route. Well, we wouldn't buy one that big. Anyway. I don't know that you'd want to buy a new one and put it on a route. I'm sitting there thinking, you know, if you're, you can get a new one for 100 and you're going to pay 80 for a used one, then you might consider. So if you're talking 150, which is what I figure a new one costs, uh, if you can find it. They didn't, I don't know that we've ever put a, that big one on the route. No, but but, there's too many places that you can't turn it. But they, uh, I know that we did change out. I don't remember what was in there every four or every five years. That we were going to change well, them out. Used to be, it was we would trade. Uh, when I first got on here, they had it every five years on the trip for us. They would try to roll one over every five or yeah. every three years, four years, or something. I do remember a couple of things that Mike had on his list. It's off the top of my head. You know, one of the things was that covered area in the back yes. for the kids to. For the bus area now that's to me minimal but the other thing is we need to and it was on our original bond package that we didn't do is concrete that drive behind the school and i'm not saying we do it all at once but i think if we'll start allocating 25 40 thousand dollars a year maybe over the next four or five years you could have that whole thing done if you don't want to do it all at once that way you kind of get it done get stuff out of the way i know the dumpsters getting in bad uh situations as far as dumping and getting the garbage truck back there. And I know uh, Mr. Smith was talking about making a little parking area back there on the backside for your kitchen people and get a parking back there more or less in the rocks. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And concrete, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm betting it can cost you $200,000 to concrete it. So that's why I'm saying if you think it's been $40,000 and start at 
We'll start on the bag shop or start down there to gym, go as far as we go. And next year, but we're going to have to allocate it kind of like we did our board and say $40,000 a year until it's done. Absolutely. That's like he said there's still a great addition right there in the front increase there and so we will back there another stair several times and cool up Right there. The chat, well, one, one, thing, one thing we talked about was uh, every day if the uh, bus is loading and unloading at the high school, back at the back, right off the lunchroom. Right here, right here. Uh, what was it? It was a bus loading and unloading the covers like we did over here uh, for the high school back there behind the, the lunchroom and stuff because that's where the bus is loaded coming out of there. And we're going to put some awnings down through there so the kids would not stand and rain. Did you get that email from Mike? It would have been about four months, three or four months ago. And he had about 10 little bullets. If not, I'm racing it. It's in my email. I just can't get an email right now. Yeah. Oh, it is. I don't think we're going to do that. All that. COVID, where you have to stay um, isolated mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I mean, if you're sick and running temperature, yes, right. any like any other illness. But otherwise, if you're negative, you want to come in? I don't have a problem. I don't. I don't mind. I have a problem with it. I don't have a problem. Is that a he tested negative. I worry about it. He's going in there. Joe, you're the only one. Oh, it don't matter. He can come in here. It, I don't have a problem with it. I can hear y'all now. It's good. And I don't want to come in there because my oh. wife, son, and daughter are all positive, And I don't know how oh. true these tests are. Okay. I don't think. I don't believe unless, unless you y'all really, really want me to, but I would hate to get anyone sick because right. it was no pretty problem. rough. I got a trip coming up. I've been staying away from them. <laughs> okay. Con and also one of the idea was uh, – Starting back to back, and because of the trucks coming back here for delivery, uh, concrete poured around the back, and then we could eventually we could start out and pour forty, fifty thousand dollars worth, and go as far as we could. Next year, add on to it, keep going, build a little parking spots back there for the the uh, cafeteria help. My only question on that is, are we ever going to add on behind that? Well, if you make would it be farther on behind? It's according to what you put back there. That's true. Because, I mean, ideally, in my opinion, before we do much to baseball softball, I'd rather move them down there, and then we do get a chance to move that thing over there. Put it north and south where the baseball and softball. That'd be good <laughs> because that way you can use that parking lot on the west side for parking for both or for everything. Yeah, for everything. That's I don't I don't think that's an it. idea. I don't think that concrete pouring out there is going to be in the way. I, think I don't think so. I think it would be a 
that would be just like it. yeah you would just you'd have a driveway or a sidewalk going up to yeah yeah you know, even if you had the, the some, uh, portable back there for some reason you'd, you'd have the concrete walks across to get there rather than to the rock the mud or ditches or whatever else is back there. and I, that's just me i mean you wouldn't even have to get rid of yep. the you might have to get rid of that but that would be about it but uh, your other one you could use it as concession stand behind on the stands on the west side or whatever how much room is back there before we run into what a gas line or something? No, the gas, gas line, line is in there by the gym. It's by the gym. Yeah, it's out probably it's past the edge of the deal. The only thing you can't you just can't build anything like that. They actually said you could build on it. They just said if they have to get in there, you're, going to you're fixing to pay for it. <laughs> they gotta go in there and tear up your tractor and place a line and you gotta buy them. Yeah. So the biggest thing you could put like you could put like practice field or something like that. There's just grass there or whatever. You, well, you've got a lot of room for corral, FFA corral to that gas line. There's a lot of room back there. Oh well the, here's the thing. You go all the way to the back fence. What is one of the biggest issues we've had over the years? You mowed it, cut it, bailed it. We've had other people do it. We've had issues out of it. And there's personal money and another. That cuts down on all that mowing and stuff. If you, I mean, it was in your ball field. I mean, that's like where I was looking at it today. I was down there looking, down, trying to figure out if I'm going to cut it again. If it's worth cut. But it's really spotty. Well, I'm going to bail it. I'm going to haul everything over there, and I predicted probably 10 to 12 bales or whatever. Jeff, how long did you say till you cut it again? I'm gonna, I went to look at it today. Just, I didn't think it was ready. I was thinking I wasn't going to cut it till September, October, but there's spots out there that need to be cut. So my plan is I'm trying to get it done around the 1st of August before, before school, everybody comes back to school. <laughs> So, Terry, you said there were other issues with that. What what other issues? Uh, well, you've got a pond down there yeah, mm -hmm. in the back, but you could cure that because you could put your baseball field on the east side of that, or you could put your baseball field on the west side of it. You just have to turn it to where it's not going to. I would, if you're going to, if you're ever going to do that, I would tell you to push everything in that pond and fill it. It's not very deep. It's not worth saving. Not worth saving. Not worth saving. Because no, you have to clear all them trees around there. I just clean all them trees out, push it in there, bury it all, and then you still go down, down towards the egg. You're going to have to put, bring in some loads of dirt, kind of level that thing off because it does kind of drop off on the backside back there. That's a place to level that off. Have you looked at it? Have you looked at it? Mr. K. Okay. Yes, yes uh, we were looking just the other day at the potential for even not not just Kalichi, but just something uh, a 400 meter space to run so we're not every day just thinking know. about what's going on in the spring, just something that's, that's real low where we've got that kind of spacing for yeah. those relays. And They've never made it per se impromptu track out there, but they have done a cross country run around more or less I guess you'd say around the back side of that tank but my only concern is you start getting run around that tank and we're not keeping that all trimmed up here you got the critters and the snakes and all it's going to take is one person to hurt out there and we got problems do you need to buy any more why can folks for instance get the whole place up for sale buying and mm -hmm. some build roads to it sell it off at 5, 10, 20 acre spots I'm not going to say we don't know what to do. You no, know, because I mean, don't forget. I mean, I was the I'm the only one that was on that board that built that high school down there. And so I, mean, I know what kind of lumps I took for it because what TEA told us and said, well, you're picking that 400 students in here and you need to expand and go build a high school. We go down there and build it, and then we have all the issues. And then on top of that, 
population decides they're going to stay down around Metroplex for all long run. That hit us in the butt. So I'm not, I mean, right now, to me, your next expansion on the high school would be as they plan the one going north and south on the east end of the hill, but up to the high school would that be that, that How would many be. acres? What would that be, Terry? though, Terry, what you're saying? I'm sorry. What would that be that you're talking on the east end? Probably portable building. Okay. They're just, they're okay. Just not portable building. Well, they're just classrooms. Classroom. Okay, well, I, I, just, well, I just didn't know for sure what you um, meant. That's Classroom. what. They, okay, that, that is the original intent. The reason that building was built like that and where it was built, so that you could actually build a couple of classrooms or four back classrooms. I think going to the back, and then you could actually get four classrooms going to the front, put on eight classrooms. Okay. Uh, oh. The original ag building was supposed to be behind the gym. I found that out years later that uh, our superintendent changed that. And... David Williams? Hmm. Along with a few other things. It is... How much acres is down there? <laughs> huh? On the back side? I think there's 30, I think. Okay, I think that's more than I thought then, okay. I think it's 30. Because I thought, I was remembering but, back the bond deal. I yeah, if you're doing the whole thing, it's probably 30. All together, the ag, the baseball field, everything, and so all. I mean, of course, obviously, where the high school is, but the rest of it, other than the gas line part, is usable. I mean, like you could uh, theoretically build stuff on it. Yes, now, you, you don't have a big area on the west side of the gas line as you do on the east side, of course. Well, but you, would have, you would have enough for a stadium or football field stuff on the west side because. Yeah. Your baseball track. field with a track and everything would not be any, much any wider than the football field. I mean, baseball, baseball field fields now. Right now. Baseball field is usually about three, about two and a half, three acres, and football field's not quite that. Yeah, because when we did that bond, they did drawing the track and everything back there, and it fits more or less like the track. I keep thinking the reason I asked that is that like if the track was put back there, then there wasn't going to be enough room for bit, much more building. Is that am I remembering that wrong? Right. Now that thing would be the inside. Now that, part, that part's true. Yeah, that does kind of limit you on all you've got really is the full of classrooms you can put on. That so yeah, it would take up that much space to do. Well, you got your track, you got your football field, you got your lighting, you got your parking back there. Right? And so that pretty much eats it all up pretty quick. I know It's one of the non-packs for football fields. Now, right? And, and so, in many years, you Yeah, but again, we've had it like that for how long? And we well, don't have the money, Terry. I mean, it's not realistic. You know, it's just not realistic to do that. I understand that. We're not, no, we're, not, we're not saying that's what we want to I do. I know you're not. We're we spent a lot of time talking about it. We're just well, saying that's what we want to do. Let's think about it. We're starting to pick up younger families coming in here. They're coming in from places where that doesn't bother them as much. Because they're coming in from 
Right, I, I know. Tonight. Most people are going to be voting on the next one that weren't here the last right. time. But still, it's going to take a while. It's going to take I, a while. I think if you want the football field and, track down there, it's going to take a while. So, oh, you have to have a So I think that, I, but I don't know. I just, I guess we but should have a master plan, a five year plan, 10 year plan. Here's the thing. That, okay, you're fixing to run out this bond fixing. Me. We're fixing right. to run I know that. We're then supposed to do another one so we can keep the going. Cause if you don't keep it going, it'll come back to bite you on your, yeah. your school. Right, and that's something, Terry, if you don't mind me interjecting, I went and pulled the schedule on it. So we're going to pay off this bond February of 24. So well, we got the full payment for this next school year and then just the uh, principal and a little bit of interest on next year. So we want to. If y'all are wanting to do this, y'all are going to have to really start planning and being strategic about this because you don't want that to pay off. And then as wipe out our debt, and then, debt, and then we come back and say, hey, we need this much more money. Just like they said, we don't mind giving you we'll same. Give you, we'll, give you, uh, we'll give you 10 cents, right. but we're going to keep we're going to keep 8 cents or whatever it takes. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, those 8 cents are not going to do it here because that, it, it's not going to work. You're not going to build anything when these schools right now, you're talking about two, almost $200 a square foot to build. Sherman School was $250 a square foot. And the guy, the architect that lost the bid said, you got to have the deal. I mean, I got to do is kind of look what Tom B just built. I mean, they got the AstroTurf, they got the thing. I mean, to me, that's a plain Jane. It's a nice field, but it's plain Jane. I, the other thing you got to think about is what are you going to do with that? Are you going to keep grass turf or are you going to go with something else? Because I'm telling you, in the long run, you're going to save a lot of money on turf and on grass. And I know people are going to argue with it, but one thing we didn't do the last time was when we talked about that, we didn't have our facts together. We need to get sure that you get your facts ready and have them straight for when people come in. They were saying people, that you have to drag that field about once every two or three weeks and it takes hours to do it. No, I've got coaches on coaches right now that'll tell you that they drag it maybe once every three months and it takes about, a baseball field takes about 45 minutes with a gator. All it does is it levels out those rubber pellets. <coughs> And then you got playgrounds, or you got places for kids to go. You don't never have to worry about losing your spring or fall down there because you, you're always going to have turf to have money. You're going to have tracks. But, so. but also, people don't understand about that that bond being paid off. Then, so Denise, we would have to have a bond though to keep collecting that much money, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because once it's gone, it's well, gone. Right. But I'm telling you the average person does not understand that. You know, again Well, they don't understand that 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 we went down for the last six years as far as how much money we've been collecting too. I mean not collecting, but how much we taxed. But again, we need to get yeah, we need to get that written in it's, facts, the exact facts that we can show you them. Know, because I'm a they, I'm a paper think, person too. They think that we're setting these property values oh, and well, it's not us. Of course I know that. I yeah, I think most people know that, but but still no, some no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they they don't. still sit there and well, we're and I think I do, but I don't. I mean, it's just like this year they just raised they just raised straight pasture land up to forty five hundred dollars an acre, and in in Grayson County they raised it up to sixty seven hundred dollars an acre. It's the sign of the times. And, and I'm saying to you, it's not going to be. I'm not going to sit there and tell you. Yeah. Okay. I, because we've got. But what we've got to do is, if you do a bond. We can't be passively just sitting around just like we did the last time. Exactly. You've got to go get out there and tell people what's going on. And we didn't do that last time. We let we sat back and let them dictate all 
the information that was dictated. Well, y'all had, I wasn't on the board then, but y'all had meetings and people came to the meetings and there were some printouts, but again, um, well, the again, printouts that we had were done by us, I think. Weren't they? Well, there was, <clears throat> but he had gotten some of it, he had gotten from that. So, Perry, will you say that again? You're saying the printouts came from where? Mr. Neal mostly. But part of the stuff that he used on there did come from the guy that we had yeah. talked to. Yeah. Uh, Jan, Jan, do you have a vision yeah. for either one? Or are you, have you, from what you've seen since you've been here or talking to Terry or others and what coaches are, are thinking about the field and everything? Do you have a vision that you would like to see? Yes, I have a vision, um, but it has to align with, with the seven in the room in the community. Um, I do think this is a growing district, and I think we have to decide, are we going to put our money in athletics? Or are we going to put our money in you know new facilities? Or, or where do we want to do it? And wherever we do it, we have to sell it. So that's why I was asking Terry who, who was selling this message, um, because what people hear is what we put out. Well, I'll be honest with you. We did the bond, the, and the, the only thing that I could say good about that architect was he sent us the paperwork and the, the handouts and stuff, and they he had it down pat. This last guy, I didn't feel, I didn't feel like we got a, a very good um, <clears throat> representation from them. What do you guys think? Where do you want to grow? I mean, this is we're growing. Where do you want to grow? Where do you want to guide the Where do you want to guide the district? Well, I, well, I think go we need to, I I'm think I'm going to keep quiet. I think I'm going to do work. I think I think you'll get the athletics to follow. If you do the facilities first, I, I, Jeff, I, facilities that is where my thoughts are. At this point, what facilities do need to be done? We don't need four classrooms right now or eight classrooms, do we? Or by the time we You're get built, what school, we need them? elementary. Well, we were just talking about putting uh, classes down at the high school, so I assume high school. We weren't talking about putting them there. We well, were throwing out this where we said. Well, I know, but we, that's what, yeah. But see, we're spending a lot of time talking about it, so that must be the thought. So well, I want to know more well, about Mr. that. Well, thing. Mr. Smith had said last year that he was needing a couple more classrooms, that they were just about out of room. Now, I don't know if that's where we sit now because everything's kind of yeah. changed. Our, our, our bigger classes are coming um, to the high school, right. eighth, ninth, tenth grade, but you'll see growth typically. In, in small school districts in the elementary ages, just because young young parents are having children um, and are you know going to kinder and first and second and that kind of thing. So I, mean, I guess the main thing is, are, are we going to have enough classrooms and are the classrooms going to be of an adequate size for the sizes of classes that we're going to have at both campuses that you've heard? For like the next five years or something, I think is what I'm thinking for two years. Yeah, next few years. Right now we're okay, um, <clears throat> but the growth is so much this way, it's hard. Who can predict in five years, you know? Oh, that's just so it. We had this report from Region 10 yeah, that told us it would, and that was 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago, but it, and it didn't. But it's actually happening now. It is. We got to look at Trenton and all that area. Well, we we yeah. see well, my people every here. day in town or every Sunday at church that are new, yeah. yeah. They're moving in. I've seen them. My daughter's still... son-in-law are just buying land three three acres out southwest, southeast of town. Your who? My daughter and my awesome. son. Awesome. Well, good. Well, you've got plants coming in. You've got TI. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to me, when we're talking the classrooms, when we're talking the football fields, to me, that we're talking bond issues. I didn't even know he was talking bond. I thought we were talking budget issues. When you get back on well, track of things. Well, <laughs> that's what that, I'm saying. Sometimes that's part of it. Well, I understand. But... This is all this. We say budget, but right. we're talking about a planning, a planning session of where we're looking at this year, next year, third year, fourth year. Fifth. I understand. I'm just trying to focus it down because I know we've got to have this thing set up by 
August 1st, which is saying yeah. August. The budget. We have to set up August 1st. Oh. It's not going to be set up August 1st. Like you're oh, okay. Well, that's so that's more time. Here's the thing that I've learned over the years about the budget. Okay. You don't know what kind of money until September. Yeah, she's guesstimating. Yeah, she she's done a great job of guessing for the last seven years. Okay. Getting harder. It's getting harder. It's getting harder. It really is. But the thing is, we don't know. That's just like me arguing back a year or so ago. How come we set the budget or we set the tax rate at a certain lane? And I come in here and I start reading my bill and I'm sure a penny short. And I'm like, that's a penny under what we did. And then when I said I was going to beat that, I was going to say no. She told me, well, you can't do that because if you do, we're going to get some other penny. We're going to take another penny. So that needs to stay right now. It's pretty much said that by the budget. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, they change it. They update it. And every time they update it, I have to re-plug in. So, I can So, once I'm looking in on the bond and I, I know y'all are all aware of it but I think the biggest problem at that time with with the bond deal are the people that have to against it that made it on the school which we all know we're aware of that because things haven't been kept up at that time and I think it has been a lot better since then and that's where we proved to I hope we proved that it. that was and the football field. <laughs> yeah that was a, a little bit yeah. but, but I think that main it's still main you could, got to keep up with the school looks nice and presentable um i remember of course i was one that was critical always of the playground not being mowed and all that you know in years but before the bond ever come along we and mr england had discussions about that when school started and stuff i was like well it's terrible you know well you think hey i'm the only one that's vocal about it and then when it come bond time and some of those meetings other people i didn't even know were bringing it they were bringing it up. And so I was like, hey, other people do notice that too. Yeah. The other thing I would like to see, and I hope that y'all consider, some of it can't be avoided a little bit, is I hope that when they, or when you go to build new buildings and, and add on and stuff, that we try to plan it where things look nice and it doesn't look like a patched on here and there, you know, type thing as much as we can. I understand, you know, we're not going to doze this whole facility more than likely. And, you know, but, but I just hope there's some real strategic planning put into that so it doesn't look like a jumble well, you know it looks as if we get into it that way then you're going to have to be getting into engineers and architects right and, and, and i nearly think it would be worth it to get some plan it's planning at some point possibly when, when that time comes like i said that'll be a little ways down the road and, and whoever's on here handling it. But, you know, to, to keep the school work doesn't look like a mishmash of buildings that's just yeah, been thrown together, if that makes sense. So, Would we need a barn to put in a practice football field and a track down there? Because I have the same concerns you've got. Matter of fact, I would have had a race came to Brian Neal about it one time. I said, somebody's going to get killed out here one of these days. These kids are going back and forth. Could we keep the football field for the games down here since we've already spent all this money on it? And build a practice field that might be a track down there. That's what we was proposing in the bond. And if I remember right, it was about a half a million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said to me, that's something we need to shoot for because at some point. And people were saying, well, you don't need a track because you only use it 
two or three times a year. No, well, the whole you, community could use you, it. The thing is, you use it every day during certain times. All right, I got the one thing. Okay, what's your ideas? Um, yeah, I think you know. I think mean, you know we talked about before the you know, baseball, softball fields. I think those are uh, a priority. The playing surface, right? Like that's that's and you know just from being here and mowing them recently, softball fields is worse. The baseball fields bad, but softball fields worse. Um, and so I, you know, if there was a priority list, that'd probably be number one. I think uh, that that playing surface. Um, you know, and then a, a track will be right up there with it. I think that's, that's the next one. I think that's, you know, and we talked about, um, you know, I, I get it. You know, track's expensive. I, I get that. Maybe you don't build eight lane track. Maybe you build a four lane that, you know, helps you don't host track meets, but you can still practice on them. And I know schools have done that. They've built four lane tracks where the kids can work out on them and you know, maybe you can't hold the track meet that way. Um, but you can still get your work done or, or whatever. Can you hold track? I'm popping in right there. If we're going to do it, to me, we do it right. Don't do four. You have to do eight. Right. Yeah. My my opinion. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Eight, that's why I said to me that's a bond item. Eight would be great. Um, but something, you know, something that is a short-term solution to that, uh, I think, is that you cut a 400-meter dirt track or grass track or just something. Uh, if you have a 400-meter track, we can do every track workout under the sun in. Um, and I, I honestly, it could be any surface. I mean, it's better than what we have right now. Um, and I don't know what that caused, but that's a, that's something that I think we could be in a meeting, you know, by the spring, we could be have something to work out on. Uh, because if that don't happen, then I'm just gonna set up cones and make 40 meters somewhere. So even if it's, you know, I know schools have done collegiate tracks or, you know, asphalt tracks, whatever, uh, but just, just something. Well, well, yeah, something I would like to ask, or ask for Jance and Terry, whoever, at some point, because obviously, y'all know I'm, I'm for a track. I'm one of the ones that's been for a track. I love track. We've had a lot of good track teams here. It's a shame we hadn't had a track, all the good track athletes we've had through the years. But um, can we at least at some point just get some roundabout prices on what it would cost us? Um, I, you know, as before, and we've never got anything. So we have a, just a ballpark idea of what we're – is it 500000 800000 you know, kind of what we're looking at. Yeah. Because there might, I mean, what if there was a way to say, well, we're going to do 250, put back in the building fund or whatever this year, and then 250 next year, boom, we've nearly paid for it or something. You know, if it was five, if it's half a million or something, I don't know. I'm just, well, you know. Well, that's what Bales did. That's yeah, so, Bales did so could we get that? I mean, at least get some some ballpark prices on that or something, Gents, where we know. And I can have that. I can have that by the end of the week. Yeah. I mean, I'm and I, I if y'all ever, and like I said, it may be when I'm gone, if it has to be a bond too, I'll help you sell a track. I think it can be sold to the community. I got a question for you again. Okay. Your football coach, you build football field, which way do you want it? You want it running north, south, east, and west? Yeah, I want it. I want to work where the kids ain't looking at the sun. I want the way bleachers be looking at the sun when we're playing at 7 30. Uh, you know, they can look at the sun if they want, but, you know, home size in the shade. The kids ain't looking in the sun. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, so, yeah, north, south. I, 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 yeah, the best, I don't see building a new football field at this point, just so it could be north and south. No, I'm no. talking about to get your facilities in the shape that they need, I mean, where they need to be, and that's down by the school and stuff. That's what I'm talking about. So, okay, but still, I disagree. Okay. That's, I, not, I, that's, that's not our priority. For but me I mean, right now. That's something that that's my question. I, to me is very, very I'm dangerous. Sorry. You get it. I mean, in the long run. I was going to ask him, I know you don't have a whole lot of exposure in the high school and in the classrooms yet. But from what you've seen, we've been talking football field, baseball field. What do we need for the classroom? Well, I, I, you know, I know. Um, get them going, get them excited. Right. I, I think, you know, just from from my, my side of it, you know, I teach science, my wife teaches science. Um, you know, and we have, we, we really do, we have good labs down there. Yeah. Um, but you know, maybe it, you know, I can tell just by looking in there that the, the uh, just, we just have outdated, you know, we just, we, we just need to update a few things, but I mean, honestly, our, our labs are in pretty dang good shape. Uh, yeah. The, the last people that yeah. taught science did a good job. Yeah. The lab things themselves, that's what I was thinking, like the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Has the equipment, equipment out in the ag shop, right. the equipment in the homemaking department, the equipment for the one act plays, 
But, you know, that's kind of what I, I mean. Heck, even the cafeteria tables. I mean, to me, a big thing. We need to get away from those. I've seen in the last three gatherings that I've gone to here, Edgar, and over in uh, Bell, or no, not Bell, Leonard. And they've got those old style bench like we've got. And I've seen too many people flip off backwards on them. To me, we just need to go to the loose chairs and tables, get something more up to date, liven up things. Also, another thing, another guy made a recommendation to me is we've got all those banners in there rec recognizing our kids, which is great. But we're kind of running out of room. And we, some of the old ones get dropped off and the, the new ones get left out. Why don't we, we've got that TV in there now. Why don't you scan all those and have those things running on that TV and you'll open it. That way you can keep your more present people up there and the older ones don't get forgotten. <coughs> keep them running on that thing and it kind of like open up your cafeteria. Well, see, I think that's partly where you could, like you've got the stuff in there. Some of that stuff, we could actually, why couldn't they put them out in the hallway? That, no, when I, I didn't know they did the it out. that we've seen, like Lindale, yep. we went down there for yep. down the hallways. They had them hanging down the hallways. I never thought about it with the technology that we had. That we yeah. have the TV there. You could just scroll it on there and put it on a. On a I've seen them do that. You know, uh, we've had those banners in there now. For you can go in there, we've got them back for twenty years. It's kind of you trying to want to come up with something fresh and something we can do that, Jeff, just like we do here in the in in Miss Leach's little area here and just scroll our current news. Our you know, yeah. we can we can do it really anything. Um, there are no limits to it. So yeah, that's I, a very good idea. Uh, yeah. the tables we have we have quotes for new tables for the cafeteria. Miss Leach, do you remember the cost on those? For the new tables that Mr. Smith sent. They were about fifteen hundred a piece, so we haven't ordered those yet because they were expensive. So the ones that he quoted. So if he was fifteen hundred a piece, and having mm -hmm. one or eight, ten, twelve, are they like those ones that are there? I think they looked a little different. Are they still the bench style? Are they yeah. easier when you for the older people? Oh no, not the circle no, seats. No. No. <laughs> no, not the circle seats. Those are no. no, 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 no. The kids yeah. will the kids uh, won't mind, but I'm talking uh, our older community when they come in there. That's three yeah. problems. You can't get as many people to sit there. Like there about three. three. I think you're only three. Bill got down there. Try to flip around. Flip backwards. That's why I brought it up. That was my uh, friend of mine. Yeah. Flip backwards, and then somebody I didn't know, and Leonard did the same thing. All right, Terry, I've got one more question. Okay, uh, on our lighting that we budgeted for, yeah. Do you know we're, we're still having to do the softball and the baseball lights? Oh, that's gonna be next year, right? As far as I know, we could. Well, do I thought we decided we got a. Do the surface before we do the lights. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we talked about. Do we need to budget the lights? Can you just? I don't think you can budget the lights and the field. Okay. So we're here. not doing lights, but do the surface, plain surface. I think you're just going to change it from lighting to ball field resurfacing. And when I say ball, baseball, softball. He called it about it being a pass, right? Surface. That surface is bad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so the softball feels real bad. That's yeah, cool. they're both in bad shape, but I mean, yeah. you had to rank them. Softball works. I mean, you go down there and it's like you're clown to. I guess my question is: Did you not get something done? And it still be a bad equipment? I guess to me, it seems a bit much to be surface to fields. Is that the part of the class? You surfaced them? But... You said that was the best thing. That's having the guy that... That's the guy having... That did the football field doing the same thing for the baseball. That's why I was saying, to me, to me, we kind of went premium when you did the football field. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, 
find other companies that just give us work to put in. It's not, you know, just one thing like you. Somebody come out here and go out there and throw some sand. Yeah. I mean, we're making some complaints. There's a possibility that you may have to move these fields. That's or, why. I mean, I'm, they were going to be exactly. I mean, we're going to be a waste of the most part. I'm saying, don't let's don't let's do that. What you're going to do first? Why would you do that? Well, who would you do it? They're going to have to do it sometime in the future. But that's going to look like a big waste. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And people right. are not going to want to give us more money to do something else if we're going to tear it down after a few years and move it someplace else. I mean, that's, you know, well, I don't we know. spend a bunch of money on I mean, that, and then we got lights to put up, and then and all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of people moving in here. Which, well, I don't know. In my opinion, we should leave the football field where it's bad. I know it would be nice to move it down there. But you don't spend all this money down here on these lights and fields and their field piles. You can take the lights with you. Well, I kind of thought your idea was good about a practice field there. I thought that's a With good the idea. Track around yeah, the track around the it. Got, they got a practice field out there. Yeah. Too. They got a practice I mean, it's a lot for 1A, but I don't know. That's not a bad idea, I didn't think. Okay. okay. I'm not, I'm still, what do y'all want me to budget? Are we going to budget for resurfacing or what are we doing? Um, I have a feeling from what I've heard from the community that if you, if you go and start spending $250,000, $300,000 on athletics, and I haven't heard anything being spent on academics, you're in for a whole lot more grief. We spent a lot on Edgephoria and Aware for this year. That's right. right. That's a program, and we've spent money on technology. But, you know, technology has got to be spent no matter what. Well, but still, yeah, but still, that is okay. academic. And and salary. We got uh, salaries. Yeah. We, well, yeah, we, salaries. We, we, is we, yeah. Mm -hmm. And some softball people and baseball people are speaking. I mean, that they, they, they want. Well, they now, want now that they found the field, oh, they improved the field, and that was more important just for that. Here's what's going to happen. But we haven't done anything. You can seek two hundred fifty thousand dollars and restart the field. You're still going to be grappling about lights. I don't agree with you. Possibly. <laughs> you, Possibly. But you, but you can't spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars on lights because now you don't have the service. But here's the play. thing. Here's the thing. Most of these districts in the smaller districts play before dark anyway. Right. Okay. I agree. I don't, I'm not saying we need lights. I don't think we need lights. That's what I'm saying. Am I not right? Coach, oh, guys, uh, most of them, the district play sets play a lot of baseball. Games. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've coached in districts that didn't have lights. They played Tuesday, Saturdays. Yeah. They played to Saturdays. me, lights is a one, Tuesdays, not a need. Saturday night. Yeah, lights would be awesome. And so I'm saying that the baseball, softball people are willing to compromise and take the resurfacing of the fields and take the lights off from now and then, too. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I think you're going you're gonna to hear everybody complaining. That I you think you'll hear everybody complaining. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I think you're fixing to hear something. I think you're right. Anyway, aren't we? <laughs> 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 yeah. Seven over <laughs> one. Now, as far as what we're going to budget, I'm not going to say. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll work with what I got, yeah. and then you'll see work what's what left over. We'll go, we'll see what we ask, and if you want to dip into fund balance. We asked the coach, and that's what he said was number one priority. In the well, yeah, but, how, the but how can you ask the coach that? If you ask the teacher, a teacher's going to tell you something completely different. Okay, well, Terry, just ask him. I don't, that's how I asked him. Well, I know, but we're, we're basing that on a coach. Okay, got, well, he knows. Other, that's, that's, the thing. that's his area of expertise. We've got... We're just get getting one perspective. But no. you mentioned something, the science, I know they need scales and stuff, because I've already been told that multiple yeah. times we thought those were bought. So I don't understand bought. why that hasn't so, been bought. But, well, it was supposed to have been. 
So you need to make a list. Somebody yeah. needs to make a list. Beef up the supply. Yeah, supplies, definitely. I know that. So I'll give you the, the labs are good, but they need equipment. All right, we're past seven o'clock. I'm going to.